Hi everybody. Lately I have started drinking a really yummy substitute for coffee. I want to tell you about that today. Tiny house, prepper. Live simple, live free. Hi, this is Elizabeth with Tiny House Prepper. I'm kind of doing my own video today. I have been really trying to find out um, as much as I can about just ways to continue to try to get stronger and healthier. And um, some very dear friends of ours were talking to Bill and I and they have had some really good results with healing from autoimmune disorders. In her case, something as serious as scleroderma, um, which is not fun stuff. <laughs> um, anyway, they were talking about something that they called the autoimmune protocol paleo diet. And um, I'm not one to go for fad stuff too much, but I started researching this and they've had very good results and have been very healthy with it. And so we picked up some information about it. Now, that's not what this whole video is going to be about. As I learn more and as I'm getting more into it, I'll be kind of letting you guys know kind of how things are going. But what I want to talk about today is a wonderful hot drink that I have been able to learn to use from this called the AIP, Autoimmune uh, Protocol Paleo Diet. Now, I do want to show you this book. Um, this is where we're getting, one of the books we're getting a lot of the recipes from. And I want to acknowledge that this came from her cookbook. Um, her name is um, Dr. Sarah Ballantyne. She's a PhD with a degree in medical um, rats. Not, not medical rats. Um, anyway, I just was looking at it. I mean, she has a PhD in um, like this kind of stuff. Medical biochemistry and everything. I don't know how much of that I'm going to edit out, guys. Anyway, but out of this book, I was able to get a recipe um, that I wanted to share with you. And they call it their breakfast brew. I'll just show you this page real quick, but I've got my notes written down here. And um, I do enjoy a cup of coffee. I've been trying to do decaf um, because I... Um, actually, caffeine is the one thing that I can use if I get a bad migraine. So I don't use it unless I'm using it medicinally. Um, if I get a migraine, I'll have some coffee then, but I haven't had one in quite a while. But anyway, this is a very healthy substitute because technically I really shouldn't be drinking coffee if I'm going to stick to this diet. And this is actually what they call the breakfast brew. And I'll show you how I'm making it, and I'm surprised at how delicious it is. Um, I was talking to my incredibly wonderful daughter-in-law who had lost a really appreciable amount of weight at one time years ago. And she said that she did three things to change her diet. And one was she started drinking her coffee black. And she can have coffee, you know, she's not on an AIP kind of thing. She started drinking it black, got herself used to that. Um, she started using really healthy fats and she substituted vegetables for a lot of the carbs she'd been eating. And that was very healthy for her and she's done very, very well with it. Well, this is a way that I actually now drink something that I like, black. It's amazing, because usually I really would want a little bit of cream, and even if it's stevia, something to kind of sweeten coffee. But this I'm really enjoying just with nothing else in it. Although they say you can put, like, coconut cream in it. If you want to do the, the autoimmune protocol, you can use coconut cream to, you know, make it creamy. -er. Anyway, their recipe... Um, I'll just tell you this real quick here, and then I'll show you how we're actually doing it. Um, they recommend using a 12-ounce coffee press, and it's three-quarter teaspoon of roasted dandelion root, one and a fourth teaspoons of roasted chicory root, and a half teaspoon of carob powder, and that's with about 10 ounces of boiling water. But what we did is we got those ingredients, and Bill made me a nice batch of it just ready to go for in the morning, and I just use it in the regular coffee maker. Let me show you. So, welcome to my neat, um, cool, tiny little kitchen here. <laughs> now, this is our usual coffee maker that we make, um, co you know, coffee in. And so what Bill and I did is we had to go down to a health food store that we have in the area. Um, it's kind of closer to where Bill's dad lives. It's a bit of a drive, but we had to go to a health food store. And um, I did find uh, carob powder. And um, we actually found roasted dandelion root. 
and that has good nutrition in it. It's got some anti-inflammatory you know, inflammatory, uh, things about it too, and it's also really good flavor. I'm learning about dandelions. They're pretty good food. And then we have um, roasted chicory root here. And so what Bill did is when we got home, he had been looking at this recipe and um, we were a little concerned because the ingredients that we got, you know, these were very full, came to about $20. In fact, I think, did that include the, the, the carob? Carob was even more. Yeah, it, it was. It did, yeah. okay. So, um, I'm talking to my cameraman, of course. But anyway, um, it was over $20 for all of these ingredients. So we were a little concerned about that. But um, what, what we did is Bill put together um, by taking the same recipe and expanding it, it um, my mix has three-quarter cup roasted chicory, a half a cup of dandelion root, which is the roasted dandelion root, and a third a cup of carob. And that, uh, I've been using this, that almost filled this container that I have here. Um, I just keep a sealed lid on it. But what I've learned is that I use so little of it to make a really good, robust, flavorful hot drink. Um, what I figure out here, um, by the way, I wanted to let you guys know, I did check on this, and a 10-ounce serving, um, they give the information in the cookbook, um, there's 12 calories in it, which is very little, um, and it's got like uh, 0.45 grams of fiber, and then just bunches of vitamins and minerals. So there's actual nutrition in it. Um, and very low calorie. Um, so that was cool. All right. Now, I'm going to just make some and um, I'll show you how little it really has taken. Now, they recommend using a French press or like brewing it and then straining it. But for me, it's worked out just fine to put in the usual filter in our regular coffee maker here. And I'll be putting in, I'm going to go ahead, I think, just for this demonstration and um, make. You know what, I'm going to make four cups because I'll save it in the refrigerator and heat it up in the morning um, to have some in the morning. So well, these are technically four cups of water. Pour that in. And here we go. Now what has been amazing is I've determined here that in order to make this four cups it only takes a regular, not rounded, nice level, one teaspoon of this mixture for every two cups. Now sometimes I'll shake it good right before I open it. This I've already shaken. Here we go. There's the mixture. That's chicory, dandelion root, and carob. And I will make a level teaspoon. It just makes the cutest little dab in the bottom of the filter two level teaspoons for four cups because it literally takes a half of a teaspoon for a cup and that's just amazing. Bill and I figured out that um, coffee takes one and a half rounded teaspoons per cup and so um, this has lasted so well it hasn't turned out to be as expensive as I was afraid it was going to be. So when Bill makes coffee he will use um, what is it? Uh, a rounded tablespoon for every two cups. I use a little regular teaspoon for every two cups. So it's it really lasts well. Okay, I'm going to get that brewing. And I'll show you how nice it is when it's all done. Okay, it has stopped brewing, and let's try some here. So, see, it's a nice rich color. Oh, that's a nice flavor. I've had to kind of get used to it a little bit, but it wasn't that hard to get used to. It's a really nice flavor, and I found that it, it complements complements the food I'm eating, and just gives me something kind of warm and comforting to sip, like you would a cup of coffee. Mm. It's really, really good. Tastes even better in this mug. 
but anyway, it's really good. So it seemed like it might be expensive, but it takes less than a third of this mixture than it would if it was coffee. So I feel like it's going to be pretty affordable and um, it's tasty. So I just wanted to share that with you, something I've learned about. And as I go along and continue in this process of trying to familiarize myself and become used to how to, to use the AIP, Autoimmune Protocol Paleo Diet, um, I will kind of bring you along. I did check with my doctor, and he was very happy with it. He thought that sounded great. So, And it's just barely a beginning, but I am starting to even lose some weight with it. Not that that's the big thing. The big thing is the health and um, stopping some of the autoimmune things going on. I did want to let you know, I'll be doing probably a follow-up a little bit later, but I do want to let you know that the last time I got all my uh, blood work done, my liver is considerably better than it was. So um, I'm very encouraged by that. But anyway, this is about my chicory. And so enjoy. And I love you guys. Live simple, live free. And I will see you later. Thanks. Bye-bye. Mm, that really is good. Okay. Hi, everybody. I am coming up. I know how they feel when they go in the movies and stuff. Okay.